They make excellent fighters, well suited to survival under the worst conditions. The skills barbarians use most are blunt weapon, long blade, axe, jumping, running, and swimming. Yes, that's all right. So we're a barbarian. So I'm guessing the character, well, yeah, obviously comes from Skyrim, from a rural area with barbarian tribes and everything. Possibly a small villager, who knows? They don't need to be nomad barbarians, they can be villagey barbarians. Probably from a relatively structured society. Possibly a chief or a clan leader who was his superior. With a shaman or possibly some sort of cleric or priest. Um, taking care of the spiritual leadership and... I think he's, he'll have been very, very, um, very, very much subject to authority and, and I think he believes in, in the righteousness, in the God-given right and, and legi legi legitimacy, is that a word? I don't know, of that authority. As I said, not the most, not the deepest thinker. And yeah, just I, I, I went through character generation once in this game, twice actually, once when I first played it, decided it was too buggy, second time when I made a little video and audio check, <coughs> excuse me, uh, but I only, I, I just clicked through it and um, because, um, well not the first time, but that's long ago, but the second time I just clicked through it because I just wanted to make a check of the, the actual gameplay and video and from what I remember, it's similar to, to how the skill system worked in Morrowind. I don't remember this, the background. I don't actually know what it means. If it's just for role-playing purposes or if it actually does things. Oh. Um. Yeah, so, so adjusting attributes and skills comes later. But I think we're, we're going to do it like we did the, the class generation. We're going to answer questions. You're most fond of using... Switching between axe and long blade. As a barbarian, I'm, I'm leaning towards axe, but actually... I think long blade's better because he'll, he'll have been... Well... An important soldier, maybe even equivalent of an officer for his tribe or, or village or society. Long blade makes more sense. Let's do long blade. What motivates you into a life of adventure? Either fame or helping others. I think helping others. It may be a bit diluted because you won't help others if... Well, for example, if a little kid were to... Uh, were to steal something and, and be punished for it by law, then, then even if he just stole to feed himself or something like that, I don't think he'd side with the kid. But I think he believes, so he's motivated by, by helping others, or society, or justice in general. Which of the following skills have you been studying the longest? Dodging, stealth, backstabbing, lockpicking... Climbing, running, critical striking, jumping. I think most of his education or training was combat. So either dodging or critical striking. And I think he's more of an, of an offensive than defensive person, so critical striking. As a child, your nickname was <laughs> Rabbit Guppy, <laughs> Quicksilver Scrapper or Monkey. Ah, uh, I think Quicksilver. He probably gave that nickname to himself, but never mind. You were loaned and later a glut keep. Hmm, probably not gold. I doubt you can even read. I don't know what pauldrons are. Don't know that word. Kuras, I know that. That's type of armor. A daikatana, I think. I think he probably... Yeah, weapon makes most sense. What god, if any, do you worship? 
And we definitely worship something. Hmm. God of commerce, no beauty, no God of time, air, birth and death. Mother goddess, the god of logic, or the god of mercy. <coughs> okay, mercy might make sense for a valiant, honorable person like him. The mother goddess would make sense, but it's a bit too peaceful, I think. Birth and death god, that's a good possibility. What I'm missing here is, is a god of, of war or... Or combat. That would have made sense, but. Or honor, or something like that. Air is a possibility because of the. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. Either mercy or birth and death. I think mercy. That, that makes most sense for his personality, I think. Standard. You have the most trouble. Resisting poisons, staying awake and alert, getting along with others, avoiding diseases, resisting magic spells, or fighting and parrying. I think resisting magic spells. I think he, he doesn't trust magic at all. He sees it as, as a necessary evil in most instances. Yeah. Since childhood you have saved 100 gold pieces, a favorite book, a dozen arrows, or a round shield. Hmm. In this guy's actually the money, I think, because hmm, the shield. I don't know why he would have saved it. Let's go with the money. You're friendlier than most with the savage harpies, the simple giants, the glorious dragons, the immodest nymphs, the infernal daedra, the bucolic brigands, the primitive centaurs, or the mischievous imps. Hmm. You can simply go by adjectives here, I think. <coughs> well, dragons are the most noble creatures, although I doubt that he's met dragons. I think those are the one ones he would be most comfortable with. Honor and glory and everything, you know. Given 200 gold pieces as a reward, you decided to... Save it. Buy an ebony dagger, buy a rare book, buy a ruby, buy a silver staff. Mm. I think he would have bought a weapon, but not necessarily a dagger. No, not a dagger, not a staff either. Certainly not a book, again, I doubt he can read. Not a ruby either, he's not vain. And he doesn't have any taste. I think he would have saved it. You spend any free time you have training with? Yeah, long plate. Again. That's just a version of the earlier question. <coughs> Excuse me. You're intimate friends with monk, mage, rogue, a warrior, an assassin. I'd guess a warrior. Oh, reputation is what that did. Oh, well, doesn't really do anything. Commoners like him more than other people now. Oh well, why not? <laughs> Name thyself. Great. All right. His name is going to be Gallant, which makes sense for those of you who know where the name Goofeth came from. Also, it's pretty much descriptive of his personality. Probably Sir Gallant, but then again, he's a barbarian. I don't know if they have those titles. <coughs> Choose thy face! A question you aren't asked often. Uh, maybe. No, he's a younger person. Nice dash. No, that, that's not it. Uh, and this with a bit, uh, bit more trimmed hair. Maybe that, but that's, I think, too old. 
That could be it. That's a bit savage, but, but, but well groomed. The cast for appearances, after all. No, I think it's going to be this one. Yes. Okay. Attributes. Intelligence we can ignore, I think. Willpower... In the sense of him being very disciplined. Maybe. Agility, endurance, personality. Well, he's not much of a people person. Speed and luck I think we can ignore. I like to ignore luck because, well... Can I decrease it? No. That's sad. Speed, no. Well, it doesn't need to be. Well, okay. We got 14. Let's start by putting 2 in strength, 2 in agility, 2 in endurance, and 2 in willpower. Well, he's a bit in strength and in speed. And 2 more in strength. And two more in endurance. No, I could do another roll. I don't know if that was good or bad for a team. Let's just leave it like that. I, I can live with that. He's very strong, reasonably agile and and tough. Yeah, that's good. Intelligence and the personality are the least, which makes sense. His primary skills are blunt weapons, long blades, and axe. That's good. Let's start by putting two in long blade. Let's put four in long blade and one each in blunt weapons and axes. Major skills. probably could have chosen those if I had done it differently, but as much as I mess up things in, in Dungeons & Dragons based games, I mess things up a lot with my Morrowind characters. Enjoyed them a lot, but I'm... it's... yeah. <laughs> Jumping, running and swimming. Hmm. Yeah, I think just two each. There we go. Minor skills. I think I don't know what giantish does. Hmm. I think t just yeah, three each in dodging and critical strike. Okay. Oh, I don't remember that. Player reflexes determine the overall speed of the game. If you pick very high reflexes, the monsters will move and attack quickly. Why would I want that? Forcing you to be quick with the controls. <laughs> yeah, right. Very low reflexes means the monsters will move and attack slowly, allowing you to adopt a more cautious, thoughtful playstyle. Well, I'm neither quick nor cautious and thoughtful. Your character will advance a little slow with a lower reflex setting. Ah, okay. So basically that... yeah. I think we'll just keep it on average. Don't want to mess anything up. Alright, I think we're done. Let's review this real quickly. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Wouldn't really know what to change here. I think I think there's a cutscene coming. I just clicked through it when I did the test and I don't remember much of it from when I played it. I started playing it and then abandoned it. So I don't know how long it is and I don't want to interrupt it. And that means I'm going to start a new video for this. See you in a few seconds.